Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of Victoria to Heart of Darkness, the campaigns of nations that no one else wants to play as. And this today everyone, we are going to be tackling the question of why does no one want to play as Columbia on the internet and, and why, why would you want to or would you or could you do a let's play of this on the internet. I'm here to answer those kind of questions for you. I'll give you a brief synopsis at the end after I feel like I've had enough substantial information about this let's play you know. Okay, off the bat the most interesting things I found about Columbia is the fact that one, its political party is the Pedro Rebels or Liberals which also means that I am stuck. Uh, its upper house is not appointed ruling party starting out as it's two per state, so that means I cannot instantly switch from being the stupid laissez-faire government, which is definitely bad if you are a little tiny nation. This is definitely not the ideal state you want to be in. Um, what else? Other things I've noted of interest in this Let's Play is that our technology is terrible. Um, we have basically no real good technology, and we don't even have freedom of trade, which is a must, and I mean a must technology if you want to survive this game long. You need freedom of trade. Uh, other things to note is uh, we have no factories, of course, though we are a civilized nation. We can build factories, we just don't have any factories, which, you know, honestly does stick. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, other things to note, Brazil has a core on us. Yeah. So, you know, big baddie Brazil wants to go to war with us, they probably could and probably take... This region right here, which we actually do need to keep control over until we, you know, unite all of Colombia. Oh, well, speaking of which, the goal of this Let's Play is going to be, um, uniting everyone under the formation of Grand Colombia, which, um, I think this is going to be slightly easier than other Let's Plays because of the puppet thing. You see, I don't have to, like, sphere every single one of these nations. Like, I usually, if, this, if I was, like, Serbia... I would have to conquer, you know, the Bosnian region, the uh, Serbian legion, or this region because, you know, because that's the only nations I can do. Because as you can see, this is, it's owned by different countries. But with this Let's Play, or with this kind of formation, or forming of nations, I just have to, you know, puppetize these, peop these people. So, hmm. I think what I'm going to do is since Ecuador is the weakest, I mean... It seems to be the weakest out of the two nations. I think I might go for a early, 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 like, justification of puppetry against them. Um, yeah, I think I, that's definitely what I'm going to do. And then I'm also going to get an alliance with either Mexico, can Mexico, with Mexico. So that then I have a big, gigantic power protecting me just in case if, you know, these little tiny states over here try to, you know, gain up on me, which would not be very good. So, what else? Um, my national, I think the first thing you need to do in this is kind of put your national, your national, uh, thing onto support nationalist. Because, honestly, the Liberal Party would be pretty stupid. And one thing you do have to also do, well, you don't have to do this, but I, you feel so morally wrong if you don't do this. Please abolish slavery every single time and then hold an election because you want to make sure that the liberals are out of power because I know for a fact the liberals will do nothing in power and they will just cost you money. Um, once the liberals are out of power then you can start adjusting your economy to you know meet this because by the time this finishes up I don't think I'm going to have much money. Like <laughs> I'm going to be making projected negative $24 a day which means I'm probably going to lose my $2,000 starting point. That stinks. Unless, maybe, could, no, not even terrorists could save me. So, it seems like we're just going to be losing a lot, and I'm just going to have to accept it, so. Well, this, well, this is the Canadian, Colombian Let's Play, everyone. We will begin the Let's Play now, and I will cut to the first break now. Okay, good news. Mexico accepted my alliance. So, we have this many troops to help support us if we ever got into a war that would seriously destroy us. And I bet a lot of you think you will change. That's not actually that, that, that much money. Uh, army. Yes, it is. That is so much army, especially for South America's, like, patheticness in terms of, like, population and militaristic power. That is such a good army. So I'm so glad that they decided to join me in this and, 
you know, this should make the campaign a lot easier. Now, the only thing I'm worried about, though, is I hope America doesn't go for its manifest destiny, because then I'm just gonna have to sell Mexico. Well, too bad, you guys are on your own, because, yeah, I can't fight America. That's just not even a possibility. Alright, so let's see, we have a couple alliances, systems, gains set up, and, yeah, it seems pretty good. Brazil is still not attacking anyone, so that leads me to think they might be attacking me here soon, so... I'm preparing. My Colombian troops are preparing as hard as they can. We are... We're gonna be doing this. We're gonna do like they actually did in real history, which is we protected ourselves from the evil, evil Brazilians. And their real de Janeiro holiday. Yeah! Okay. Cutting again. Wow, we just get luckier and luckier. Okay, so we got a gold rush, everyone! Yeah, 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 everyone, we're gonna be like old prospectors, go down to the gold rush and gonna go get some gold, and our life rating went up to 50%, and immigration is 300%. Um, that's amazing, so, that means it would, ah, oh, dang it. So, apparently, we got 9.4 infamy, but luckily, I already got lines in Mexico, so they're not going to back out of that, and whatever region that is that is encouraging immigration, let me see, national, not supply limit, ranking migrations, let's see. Um, maybe I need to wait one day. Let's see, what region is encouraging immigration? Well, actually, Brazil's getting a ton of amount of immigration people. That's pretty weird. Uh, let's see, do I have any... No, it doesn't seem like I'm getting any of the immigration. That stinks. Um, but I should be preparing for our invasion of... Of, uh, here. And things I should know is I should probably start... Is I'm gonna need good siege equipment because... Since I won't have the, uh... Yeah, I don't have my engineers anymore because I need muzzle-bloated rifles, which I can't exactly get right now because I need to first get just freedom of trade. So, I think what we're going to make in our first year... Well, I have to wait till our economy recovers, actually, before I do that. So, anyways, everyone, I just wanted to bring you in right there to tell you that we had a gold rush, and... Yeah, everything seems to be going fine, and we had infamy, too, so... Everything still goes to be fine, and I'll cut to the next break now. Okay, we are about to begin our first conquest of the new Colombian Empire, and our first conquest is going to be Ecuador. A um, couple things uh, to note: um, I have been encouraging my relationships with Brazil to about 102, so that I don't want them to um, declare war on me and attack me. Even though they don't have the strongest army right now, due to them fighting Bolivia, um, Bolivia and Peru. They're still quite a deadly nation, and I don't really want to be dealing with that at any point in my Let's Play. At least until I've united all of Colombia under my reach. Okay, um... Uh, Texas apparently did conquer Texas back, but it's about to lose it due to the fact of America being America, so... I'm not necessarily going to rely on Mexico to enter in this war. In fact, I'm pretty sure they will not. They're having too much trouble right now fighting America. So I guess it'll just be us fighting Ecuador, and... As far as I know, Ecuador does not have any alliances. It has no one, as far as I can see, no one in terms of liking this. Well, maybe Spain. Spain might like it a little bit, but not enough, to, I don't think, to join in. So, hey, Ecuador. We're about to come after you. Yeah, let's see. I'm guessing maybe, no, we don't. We want to use that. We want to make sure we have that alliance, just in case if something bad happens. Okay, so I'm going to instantly charge in my soldiers to go take on the only Equatorian troops I can see around. Um, I'm going to go right here, stop that troops, and I'm going to move right there. That dance should, yep, I'm going to make it. Hopefully I'll destroy them all in one batch, and I completely forgot to reinforce my soldiers. Doesn't seem to matter though, seems like I destroyed them. And they're all dead. Okay. I'm going to go back to the main capital, and I guess you guys don't really need to see the rest of this, because this is just going to be me, like, conquering lots of regions, so, um, yeah. I'll come back when the war has ended, and we'll you guys get to see the results. So, until then, everyone, see you then. Okay, everyone, we are back here in this episode of Awesomeness, where apparently we have won the war, and I am, uh, yeah, 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 you guys, could you please shut my door, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we are back here again, as I said, uh, we're about to end the war and proceed. So, we now have a peace with, with Ecuador, and now they are officially a part of our Colombian Empire, Empire, but they're also at war right now, so, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Apparently, there's a, you know, acquire Esperanza event right here, 
Um, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to come in, get an alliance with them as quickly as possible. Form an alliance. They should accept. Yeah. Form an alliance with them and they should be coming in. Ooh. Yeah, you guys, yeah, you, you go back, Pulu. You don't want to mess with me. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you go back. Okay, so yeah, we're back. I'm just, now that I have Colombia or, not Colombia, but little tiny Ecuadorial. And underneath my control, I have to now start thinking about um, trying to get Venezuela underneath my control and then trying to become a great power because we have a long ways to becoming a great power. But on the bright side, apparently Mexico is standing a pretty good chance against America right now. I mean, if they were to use this army right here and, it, and just do some defensive attacks, they could probably win this battle. Oh my goodness, I have a whole entire another army over here. Dang, this is the first time I've ever seen Mexico actually hold its own against America. I mean, they are legitly holding their own. Well, America, yeah, they are basically even in strength. That usually never happens. Wow. Um, Mexico, you gotta teach me your tricks later on at some point because that is awesome. That is just completely awesome. So, um, right now we are just, yeah, I guess I'll bring you guys back when something interesting happens. And if you guys are wondering why I don't have the technology chosen yet, it's because I don't want to start a technology and then stop it because I'm going to instantly try to get idealism because that's the only ones that will really help us like you know modernize so anyways we will cut to another break yeah 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 okay I'm I'm starting on March 30th 1840 Colombia is going to try to gain its causes better against the people of Venezuela Venezuela alright so yeah, I'm just gonna be getting my cause belly now, cause one reason is because Mexico finally finished up the Mexican-American War, which I gotta give Mexico credit. They fought it. They fought pretty dang hard. I mean, America did not did not easily win Texas from Mexico. So you know, give Mexico credit. It it never to be lost, but they fought to the bitter end, and you know what? In the end, that's what matters. So right now. Um, we are going to try to expand our reaches to Venezuela and hopefully everything will work out great So I'll skip to the point where we are at that point. So yeah Oh, if you guys are wondering how my economy is doing so great I've basically been doing the one thing I hate to do in almost every single one of my games and that is tariffing Because I feel like tariffing is like the worst thing to do in almost any game because in the long run it destroys your economy in fact, I'm going to put it to 2.2, because I want to lessen tariffs just a little bit. Alright, and it seems like an economy... Who's actually getting luxurious needs met? My artisans and clergymen. I actually have clergymen? What? I have clergymen somewhere? Where? Oh, clergymen, not... Oh, not craftsmen. Because for some reason, I'm having a similar glitch happen. I'm not sure why there are no craftsmen being made in my country. I'm... Kind of very, very scared about that. I wonder if that's something that may pop up in the future. But anyways, uh, we will continue with this Let's Play. Or I will cut to another break right about now. Okay, guys, I got some sad news. Um, it seems like that Casus Belli that we had. Um, speaking of which, I only got like 2.1 Infamy for, so that was pretty cool. Um, we're not going to be able to use it. I bet you guys, some of you guys are sad, but it's because... Venezuela is friendly with the British so that means we can't declare war on them so that means we're stuck we're stuck for a little bit until at least until I can get an alliance with the with the United States of A which is actually I think possible yeah it is possible we're not gonna be able to do anything so yeah, it seems like for the next like couple of years, I guess I'll just be chilling out here in Colombia and doing nothing. What a lovely way to spend my... Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I guess we'll just wait here and just wait into this. So, everyone, wait for the next cut. I'll probably go until 1846 or 1845. So, see you guys then. Okay, so I thought this was hilarious. So, Liberty Shines, everyone. In the workshops and mills of our country, the free Colombian people make daily discoveries and advances. The advancements of science is immediately tied to the free exchange of ideals, and nowhere is the exchange freer than in Colombia. Our liberty makes us a powerhouse of technological process. 
Hard work and toil, or our nation sings our praise. We need sings our praise because we need more prestige. All right, so um, yeah, I was gonna bring you guys back at like 1845, two or 1846, two years later. But it seems like this is a good time to bring back guys. What happened? And what I mean by that, nothing's really happened. Legitly, nothing's really happened. I've been just sitting here, kind of getting my relationships to 100% with America. And realizing America does not want an alliance with me. What's worse is that they're trying to sphere me right now, which, you know, would be a good thing and all, but uh, there's a problem with spearing, is that if they sphere me, then they could potentially take the Panama Canal from me. Which, you know, could be bad, but is I think if I am, if, if I'm quick enough, I could probably, what I'm hoping is going to happen is they will spear me. I'll be protected against them, so then I can go to war with the Venezuela. And then, if the UK tries to do anything to me, the Brit the United States of A will come in and go kick their booty. Which, I think it will, because the United States is may not be as powerful as the British in this part of the world. But in this part of the world, the U the United States owns them. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll skip ahead to 1850. Hopefully by then I'll be sphered, and hopefully by then we'll have something more interesting to happen. But that was a pretty interesting event, and, um, something else to note, I'm still not making any craftsmen, so, I'm kind of ticked to why, because I do have, like, 12% literacy, and I have had played as, mm, I played as nations that have had, like, 5% literacy, and I've been able to make craftsmen, so I'm wondering, why can I make craftsmen right now, so, I don't know. Anyways, without further, I don't think there's anything else to report, so... Everyone get ready, it's a time skip again! And we have something important to happen which probably will not affect me, but... Yeah, Mexico calls an alliance with America. I'm gonna decline. So, yeah, I just ended my alliance with them and... In hopes that America will... Dang it. Oh my goodness, so close! Okay, so if I don't do anything for like the next month, America should join my side, but Mexico is basically gonna die. Sorry, Mexico. You guys just aren't that important when it comes down to it. Especially if I could get an alliance with America. You know, America. They they could definitely help me. I'm so close. Like, so dang close. I just need to make sure my infamy drops and then we're basically there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do that. And, yeah. That was just something interesting to note. And we did get to stop at 1845. So, I guess from here now, I guess I'll just see you guys in a little bit again literally not even like a couple days since I just said that I get declared war on my on my peeps the Brazilians so Brazil wants to come up here in my hood and try to take me over um and I still don't it wasn't really that long ago so I'm still not quite friends with America and Brazil I mean is Ecuador a friend in this yeah they are they get they have to join in this war so yeah, so that means I don't even have to get an alliance with them, because then they'll just join in anyway, so. Um, yeah, we're going to be trying to defend our first war against... Our first and hopefully our only war against the mighty Brazilian army, which by far outnumbers us by a lot. I mean, we have basically no political power, and... I was going to show you guys this later, but since this might be the only time I'll be able to show this, um, basically throughout this campaign I've been just, um, influencing the Nationalist Party so that I hopefully, I was hoping someday they would be able to take over and so that I could, you know, get this all right, but it seems like we're going to be, it seems like we're going to have to get rid of this region right here to keep us alive because I don't know if I should fight for this region, honestly. It's not that useful in any sense of the way. I mean, it has no vital resources. I mean, it has some of our only coal. Yeah, that, 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 that just isn't that valuable, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, no, you stay right here. You get to stay right here in my in this province, and we're just gonna sit here and protect it. Um, you know, this would be really stupid, but I'm gonna see if I can build this in time before the Brazilians will arrive to kill my army. Or hopefully I'll be able to survive. So, anyways, people, um, yeah, I guess... I guess I'll fast forward it to when the war is either at a crucial point or when I think the war is over. So, see you guys then. Oh, I love this. So, basically, guys, we got a big game changer here. Um, I just realized that the only way they can get to this region right here 
Like, because they're going to get ticking war score goals because they need to conquer this the this region right here because it's the only region they actually need. That's the only reason they actually have a core on. So they need to conquer this region, but I have all my troops right here stranded right there, and they can't do anything. I can just block them, and they can't do anything. But what else is greater than that is I can actually invite the United States of America in for a fight with them. So, let's call our great American allies to our aid. Let's hope they... Yes! Okay. And with that, I feel so confident in this war that I don't think I'll show you guys the rest. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So anyways, guys, see you guys next time. Oh, I did not mean next time. I meant see you guys next cut. That's what I meant. Okay, see you guys next cut. Okay, so the war is over, and of course, I won the war. Columbia won the war, and basically what happened was is that um, I added a war. We, we've gotten a lot of prestige off of that whole entire war because of... Um, I had like three different events of that Liberty Shines event. I was so, I'm, I'm like so curious about how that fires because I got like three of those. I got a lot of prestige doing that and then I also did a humiliation goal against Brazil which gave me even more prestige. So now we are in second day power status. Woohoo! And that's pretty good people. That is honestly pretty good. So um, right now I've been just working on like economic structures and a little bit of culture and I've been just trying to get myself back up to speed and um yeah I was, there's not really much else next thing I guess our next goal is that we're going to try to take over Venezuela through either happy meads or mean meads and oh I don't know how I'm gonna do that but we'll see we'll definitely see so anyways I'll skip to the point where I actually have a plan to go take over Venezuela Testing, testing, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. Hey guys, I am back, and it is 1851. We are about four years ahead of where we were been, and a couple things are happening. One, I still have not come up with any solution to the Venezuela idea. Two, we are having a crucial decision here of, should we accept the United States offer to go and beat up Mexico? And three, um, Scandinavia has formed again, everyone. Repeat, Scandinavia has formed, and I'm becoming really, really quite suspicious of this, because this is the second time this has formed, and it's honestly because I, I feel like if I become a great power, Scandinavia never forms, so there's got to be a correlation between that, so mm, maybe this question is maybe I should never be a great power again, but then again, I've been in a, a Peneb Let's Play, and they've never formed at all. Uh, I don't know, but that's really awesome that Scandinavia has formed again! Twice in this let's play, maybe we'll have it, maybe throughout every time I start a new like little tiny nation, they will always form. That will be another crucial event that will always be a constant in this new let's play. Alright, so, should we go beat up on Mexico? Yes. And I bet why you're thinking, but Mexico helped you a lot. No, they didn't. They have not done much for me. And this will help America become stronger so that then they will be strong enough to go fight against the UK. Because that's the ultimate goal is that they can stand their ground to the UK so that we can do other stuff and Mexico is honestly not that big of a ally I've realized like they've honestly more than once seem like they've fallen behind and it seems like our friend Ecuador is as powerful as they are so I mean Ecuador is more is almost as powerful as oh well now they're mobilized but I think if Ecuador was about the same they would be just as strong as them so you know I really don't think anything and yeah, it's just, it's just not going to work. Okay, other things going on is that we made our first factory. It's not doing too great because I haven't really been encouraging craftsmen. Because I'm waiting for... I'm just waiting just a little bit. In fact, I'll be encouraging craftsmen here in a second. Okay, now I'll be encouraging craftsmen in this region so that we can start growing this factory. And at this point, I'm going to have to start worrying about tariffs. Because I am tariffing a lot. And tariffs usually do kill your economy. Alright, so everyone, I'll fast forward now until the end of the war. Alright, so we ended the war, and as you can see, America won everything, and go USA, and now we are just waiting here again. Yeah. Well, see you guys next cut. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, I finally finished up that war, but as you would know it, another war started almost instantly halfway through, and so now we're at war with the Brazilians, and they apparently brought in their own superpower ally, the Netherlands, who... The Netherlands are actually a great power in this. Yep. That's awesome. Okay. 
So we'll see how this war goes. It seems like we're doing okay, but you never know in this game. So I'll get you guys back when we actually have some more stuff to talk about. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering why am I at the beginning again. Uh, basically, I think I've had enough of dealing with Colombia. Um, yeah. Final verdict? Well, let's talk about it. You see, in this campaign, it's basically a very much a... A very much... A lot of possibilities that you soon realize are not open to you. And it becomes quite frustrating once you realize that. Basically, in this campaign, it says you can do a lot, but you really can't. I mean... I've tried many, many, many times. I mean, I've reloaded the game, tried to do strategies, tried to do stratagems, tried to do everything I can to do things. Now, the ultimate goal, I think, of Columbia is to make Grand Columbia, okay? That's the ultimate goal. To do that, you have to become a great power. And to become a great power is a whole different heap of just... I don't even know what to call it, so... Yeah this campaign is giving me much frustration so first of all since we're already a civilized nation can you civilize yes you instantly civilize in the beginning um can you become a great power though this is the real big question <sighs> it's possible it's definitely possible but almost like my santo caliphate campaign it's nigh it's almost nigh improbable I mean, as you guys could see, I was doing pretty good. I conquered Ecuador pretty early in on the game, but the problem was Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela, which instantly starts out with great relationships with the UK. So, I, I don't know how you're supposed to conquer these guys. Because, I mean, I'll, I'll just show you guys. I'll do a Casas Bella against them right now, and watch. I'll come back in a little bit. Alright. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, I try at the very, very beginning of the game to try to do something. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. Just just instantly, like, put down by everything else. And I know I probably could have, like, organized my men a little bit better, but I've tried... Like, you guys don't know how many times I've been trying this strategy over and over again to try to figure out what Columbia's strategy is to win. Basically, in this new version, due to them, due to Venezuela always starting out with great relations with the UK, the UK will always, as I found out, always join in when Venezuela is about to lose. They will always join in the status quo. So that means you can never, there is never a free moment where you can actually fight them. So, logically, the only way you can actually, you know, unite all of Colombia, when you get a chance, is either when you become a great power, or when you... Or when you somehow defeat them, to, to form Grand Columbia, you either can become a great power and then unsphere them from the British and then, you know, sphere them yourself. Or you just do the puppet thing, which I talked about earlier. But the problem with that is, is that the British just keep coming after you. You have no break. You have absolutely no break from instantly, from day one in this game. The British are on the side of them. And you guys are thinking, well, maybe, James, you can go in later. You know, like, 1890 to, you know... Uh, 1900s to try to form G Grand Columbia. I could. But by then, you're already behind so much. Because the main point of the Grand Columbian thing is that you have to form it before colonialization starts. And definitely before 1870. Because first of all, you need the... You need to fo you need to make the Panama Canal, okay? It's, it's almost crucial to your development if you have to make the Panama Canal by that so to do that you have to be a great power um so and before that you have to, to be a great power you're gonna need to be Grand Colum you need to also be Grand Columbia at the same time and become a great power it's almost not impossible without trying to go to war with both these guys the problem is like I've just pointed out Venezuela, I mean, even if I was to win this war, even if I was, like, beating them both somehow to the pulp, the stupid, stupid uh, UK people would come in and dis and attack. It's happened so many times. I, I won't even show it on camera of how many times it's happened. Because I've, I've been, don't worry guys, I've been playing this Let's Play for a while, and I've been trying to be very calm and collected, but I don't feel like this is a very, this isn't a very fun, this isn't a very fun one. Okay, 
on the rating of funness, this is this is almost like a zero to me. I had so much frustration with this because there's so many things I wanted to do with it, and yet I could not because I always get some kind of problem. Brazil would attack me. Um, <laughs> Brazil would attack me almost every time I'd have a you know a relative ease. That'd be the other problem. I'd have a good advantage against the Venezuelans. The Brazilians would attack me, and it wouldn't matter how many friends I have around me to try to protect me. You know, I could have Peru, I could have the UCLA, I could have everyone around here. They could not fight against Brazil. The United States takes too long to come down here to try to to try to help you out. So you're basically left by yourself to fight to fight against a war where you're already destroyed from just trying to fight against Venezuela. Okay. So on the rating of funness, no. This is not a fun campaign. On a rating of possibility to make this a great power, you could definitely make this a great power. I could see you make it a great power, but it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you like your insanity here. Um, so rating a great power, I would say a 5 out of 10. Because it is possible. You can make this a great power. I could see, you know, some better player, because I actually don't consider myself that good at this game. A better player actually, you know, somehow being really, really tactically on top of everything, somehow making this. So you could, that person could probably do it. But for me, and probably by that point, once you get to great powerness and you make Grand Columbia and all that, the world just opens up for you. Like you can do so much more. But to get to that point, you have to walk through fire and brimstone. You have to go into the North Pole with no pants on or no nothing on and hope that you survive. It's so tedious and so hard to get this campaign up and going. I mean, it's comparatively to Santo Catholic, this is like making me almost rage. Rage it. I mean, it's... Ugh. So, the final question I guess you have to ask, would this be a fun Let's Play to do on YouTube? Out of it all, I think people would definitely find a lot of interesting things to do, because there are a lot of interesting things, like you can, you can, like, it is kind of fun, you know, like, to try to curve the people's perspective of you, and, you know, like, make your political party of, like, the nationalists the most powerful, and, you know, do stuff like that, and curve, like, the elections and stuff like that, it's pretty fun, I mean, you can do a lot, much more than you could do with Sandro Caliphate, so... Uh, but the frustration of this game, uh, that negative, that just negatively affects this, so, of uh, my rating, I mean, I would give this like a 5 out of 10, okay, in terms of could it be played on YouTube, it could. You could definitely have a let's play of this and, you know, be semi-successful and probably get a couple of, you know, good standings, but it's just so frustrating. I mean, I've never even, I play Pneb. And I've never been as frustrated as I am right now with this campaign, so... Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, just stop playing the game for, like, a whole entire day, probably. And I'll come back to this, let's... I'll come back to this. So, anyways, everyone, like I said, just so you guys didn't... So, just so you guys know, is it playable as a YouTube series? Yes, it is. Will... Can you become a pow great power? Yes. Could you become number one great power? I never got to that point. I never got to figure it out. But I would guess no because your population, your population would never rise above Canada's. It's almost like my Canadian Let's Play except when we burst. Your population would be about maybe 7 million at the end of the game and you probably would never be able to keep up with the other great powers, especially when they start colonizing Africa. So, um, are you a civilized nation? Yes. Uh, Anything else I need to cover? No? Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope it wasn't too frustrating for you guys to watch, and um, I'm sorry I couldn't get through this, but after playing about just just under sly of 20 years, this is giving me a headache, and I need to just go lay down. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. And don't forget to vote for your another next nation you want me to play as. So, yeah. See you guys next time.